Hey, what's up? It's your boy, DG. Welcome back. We're here to talk about why you feel like you need to be in a relationship. Why do you feel like you need that one? I need my soulmate. I need my husband. I need my wife. I need this relationship. We're going to break this down today and get down to the nitty gritty of why you really feel like you need to be with them. Before we get started, make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and share this with at least three people in your life. The way this thing called the ego works is it roots its value, it roots its worth on everything in the physical world, meaning everything on the outside. We have our inner world of our thoughts, our perceptions, our emotions, and then we have our outer world, which is our physical circumstances, relationships, money, our job, etc. Back when you were a child, this ego was becoming crystallized and cemented within your psyche. And it started to develop identities and dependencies on these things on the outside, relationships, money, status, followers. And here's what ended up happening. The ego started to believe that if it had this, if it was with this person, if it was doing this, then it would be enough. It was never okay with just being. And this slowly gets ingrained into your subconscious. And this becomes a wound within our inner child. So now we think that that person who I'm with, that's what's going to make me enough. That person who I'm with, that's what's going to validate me. But here's the reality of it. Nobody can validate you. Nobody can approve of you before yourself. And if they are, it's because the ego's using them as a crutch because you have not yet first realized what you truly are. So the reason why we want this relationship so bad is because the ego has, in a back-ended way, made us think that this is what's going to make me enough. Enough. This is what's going to make me whole. This is what's going to make me happy. How many times do we think that? Oh, if I have this, then I'll be happy. And then you get that thing, you're like, I still feel unfulfilled. It's because nothing on the outside can ever truly fill you up on the inside. So here's the key. The key is recognizing and getting to the root cause and realizing that you probably as a child didn't feel like you were enough. You didn't feel seen. You didn't feel heard. You didn't feel like you got validated. You didn't feel worthy. That child inside of you energetically still exists within you right now. And it's about going back and giving that child what it needed so it won't depend on someone or something else to fulfill it. When you do that, you will now start to become more aware of yourself. And when you become more aware of yourself, you expand your awareness of your self-worth. And now that we're increasing our self-worth, we won't need someone else to make us worthy. And that, my friends, is the paradoxal effect of this universe. Because you don't need someone to make you worthy, that is when you will attract someone into your life who is at the frequency that resonates with you as well. So, long and short, the more you heal your inner child, the more you become whole within yourself, the less you'll need somebody else in your life to make you whole. And the less that I need something, that means I will attract it. A lot of people think the way life works is if I want something really bad, that's when I'll get it. No, 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 no. You're actually just pushing it away. The language of this universe is energy. And energy only exists in this present moment. So whatever energy I have in the present moment, that will be what I'm attracting. So if I want and need this relationship, that means in this present moment, energetically, I don't have it. And that's what I'm going to be attracting into, this, into my life, the not having. So here's the key. Doing the work on yourself, asking yourself, self-contemplating, doing self-reflection exercises, asking yourself, why do I feel like I need somebody in a relationship to make me whole? What is it truly that I want in a relationship? Asking yourself, is there a part of my inner child that feels like if I have a relationship, then I'll be happy? Is there some type of attachment that the ego has created to an external circumstance or external relationship for my enoughness? When you start to ask these questions, you'll start to now get to the root cause and you'll see that it was essentially your ego attaching its worth to something or someone on the outside. As always, you know that we're here to help. You can sign up right now for our free three-step process to healing your inner child and dive deeper so you can start to become more whole and attract that mate in your life, that partner who's resonating at the same frequency, the desired frequency of your future. Until next time, you know where to find us. You can sign up for retreats that we're having, courses, all social media handles are at DG Mindset. And until next time, be good.